This has got to be one of the biggest problems with understanding the different types of stairways for um, private home use, basically, and public buildings, what the difference is and stuff like that. I can tell you what the building code books say. I can tell you what I've learned over the years, but these building codes change and the interpretations of them change. So you would need to check with your local building department to verify the information in this video. But what I would like to do is point out that there are two different types of stairways. A stairway with a 45 inch minimum tread width, stairway width, and a 11 inch tread depth. And of course, this stairway actually has a minimum or a maximum riser of seven inches, maximum height of seven inches, minimum of four inches most of the time. Over here, we have a maximum of seven and three quarter inches and a minimum of four inches again. So we can see we have two different stairways. This one has a three foot minimum width with 10 inch tread depth minimums. So the minimum tread depth, 10 inches. This is for a private dwelling. Now the 2018 building code suggests that instead of, used to be more or less for a private residential stairway, you could use this right here. So this would be for a single family home, R3 construction basically. And um, this right here is the standard stairway. This is the basic building codes right here. Um, this is basically an exception to this building code. So according to the building code book, 2018, if you have an occupant load less than 50 people, less than 50 people are gonna be living in the building, then you can use this right here. More than 50, then you would use this right here. So you would have to figure out what that occupant load would be. I mean, you go to some restaurants and stuff like that, and it'll say occupant load of 68 people. So I would doubt that you'd be able to use this if you went to a restaurant, a public building, where there are only going, the occupant load, maximum occupant load in that building is 40 people. You're probably gonna have to use this one. Residential homes, this one. Public buildings, this one. And that's probably the best way I could interpret it. And I believe most building authorities would uh, agree with that also. So let's take a look at the residential one. Three foot wide minimum um, tread or stair width. This is the entire stairway. Um, if you have build a stairway where you're going to have a section that's gonna be larger and smaller, maybe larger at the bottom, smaller at the top. This is gonna to have to be the minimum for that. Tread depth, 10 inches. It can be larger than 10 inches, just cannot be smaller than 10 inches. The width of the stairway for a public building is 44 inches minimum. Can be larger, can't be smaller. 11 inch minimum tread depth. And again, that's the distance from the face of the projecting surface. So if you have a nosing, that would be from nosing to nosing. And again, I got more information on that um, on some of my other videos. Maybe I'll put some links in here. You can always go to the website, go to the building code section on the website, and then go to the stair section uh, in the building code area for more helpful videos or interpretations on this. And some of the videos might be a little outdated also because of the um, building code books. Some of the, you know, I started making these videos in 2008, so some of them might need to be updated, but they should, you should be able to look at, look at the date on the video and get an idea whether or not it's still usable. So anyway, I hope this helps. This is the difference between what I would refer to as a public stairway and a private stairway and the measurements for the treads and risers that you will have to deal with.